Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about Dita Von Tees and her favorite drugstore at Beauty Finds. So Heather Renee Sweet was born on September 28th, 1972, and she's known professionally as Dita Von Tees. She's an American burlesque dancer, model, businesswoman, fashion designer, singer, and actress. Von Tees is known for her fascination with 1940s cinema and classic vintage style. This began at a young age and was fostered by her mother, who would buy clothes for her daughter to dress up. Her mother was a fan of old Golden Age era Hollywood films, and from her, her Von Tees developed a fascination with the actresses of the day, especially Betty Grable. So I was researching Dita online. I want to do another video featuring her higher end beauty products, but I was really curious to see which drugstore beauty products she liked. And I found a lot of information online because I always find it fun to shop at drugstores. I don't know, sometimes it's nice to be able to buy stuff that's way more affordable because her other beauty products that she likes are very expensive and high end. And sometimes you can find some really good drugstore dupes of high end ones. So I found an interview with Dita and she says, I love the drugstore, Bonte says, speaking by phone from her home in Los Angeles neighborhood, Los Feliz. She says, you never know what you're going to discover there. Her favorite drugstore to go to is the Super Walgreens on the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Vine in the heart of Hollywood, where she once wandered the aisles with Paul Rubens, aka Pee Wee Herman. She says, I love the experience of luxury products as much as anyone but ultimately you don't need a lot of money to achieve glamour. So Vonti shares some of her favorite beauty products that you can all find at the drugstore and are widely available. So Dita is always on the quest for great red lipsticks that have a lot of pigment and that old Hollywood glam look. And one of her favorites is Maybelline's Red Revival. And it's a deep red, almost burgundy red. And she's very particular with burgundy reds and can't have too much brown in them. And she also likes a creamy satin finish. And she also said the tube is really glamorous in old Hollywood because it kind of comes in that 1940s inspired Lucite lipstick tube. And this color is Maybelline Color Sensational Red Revival. And I'll also link that below. And she also loves Cody Airspun Powder. And she confesses that she doesn't really use it on her face, but all over her body for shows. She says she loves the fragrance, it's so old fashioned. And she also just loves the smell and feel of it on her body. And I use it on my face and I started using it on my chest too after I read that she liked to do that. It just has a really nice scent to it. And it's a really nice little subtle dusting powder. For cleanser, she loves Cetaphil. And she uses it every time she has an issue with her skin. And she uses the lotion and cleanser. And every time she goes to the dermatologist, her dermatologist recommends that she picks it up. And it's very pure, unscented, and non-foaming. And it's a really good drug store beauty find for people with sensitive skin. So that's one of her go-to drugstore face cleansers. And for her mascara, she loves L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara because it makes your lashes thick and heavy. And I agree, it really builds up your lashes. It almost looks like you're wearing a fake eyelashes after applying a few coats of that. And for eyeliner, her favorite eyeliner is a pen liner. And this one is Rimmel London Scandalize Micro Liner in Black. And it's basically her one that she throws in her bag when she's traveling so she can do her liner before she gets off the plane. So it's like a quick, easy, affordable eyeliner that it's really effective for making that sharp point and it's also waterproof so it lasts. So her favorite drugstore foundation is L'Oreal True Match and she claims that it's a good alternative to her favorite Suku foundation. And she heard it from Cher's makeup artist and Cher told him about it so Cher also uses this L'Oreal foundation. And Dita says, if it's good enough for Cher, it's good enough for me. So this is L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And her favorite hairspray is a bedhead hairspray. And this one she has been using for years and it holds all day. And it's called TGI Masterpiece Shine and Strong Hold Hairspray. And I sprayed a little bit on my hair after I added curls. And it really keeps them in place, but it's like still a nice brushable hold so it's not too much where you feel like you can't even comb your hair but it is a really nice hairspray 
I bought this one at the drugstore as well, and it's really affordable. And believe it or not, Dita dyes her own hair. And she says, the first time I dyed my hair, I had a professional do it, but I remember him telling me that I could do it myself. I started to do it myself then and never looked back. And her favorite is Garnier Nutrice because it has the blackest, bluest black shade. She says it's totally unnatural, but she loves it. And she's tried a few times more natural hair dyes, but she can't get that blue black hue that she can get with Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color Hair in blue black. And for SPF, so she has very fair skin and she lives in Southern California, so it's obviously hard to avoid the sun there. And because she lives in Southern California, she needs to make sure that she wears a really powerful moisturizer. And she likes this sunscreen because it's a really good sport sunscreen and it doesn't feel sticky or tacky on your skin. And this one is dry to touch and it doesn't make you all shiny looking like a lot of sunscreens. And so that's why she loves Neutrogena Dry Touch. It's been her go-to drugstore sunscreen. And this one is really strong. It's SPF 110. So it's a really nice, powerful sunscreen that works really well under makeup and doesn't give you like that really shiny, caked on look. And her favorite primer is another L'Oreal product. And it's L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Primer. And she says it's a life-changing drugstore product and it also has an SPF 30 on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try all of these products on and do my makeup and see how I like them and kind of test them out and let you know. So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna start out by applying her favorite face sunscreen and this is Neutrogena Sheer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on like my nose and my cheeks, obviously, in a regular situation, I probably put on way more, but I'm just gonna try a little bit. And she loves this sunscreen because she wants to have a really fair complexion and tries to avoid the sun at all costs. It's really important to her to have a really strong sunscreen for her face. The next product that she loves to use is the Revitalift Miracle Blur. So I'm gonna try some of this as well. And this is supposed to smooth your lines and work as a really nice primer. She says this is her go-to drugstore primer. So I'm going to try some of this on my skin under my foundation. And now I'm going to apply her favorite foundation, and this is L'Oreal True Match Super Makeup. And the shade that I picked up is Creamy Ivory. So this is one of their lighter shades. I'm quite fair myself, so I got one of the lighter shades, and I'm just going to apply that to my face, and then I'm going to use a blender to blend it in a bit. The thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump or anything, so right away I ended up dumping way too much on my hand. So it's going to be difficult to blend this all in because it like came out way too much. I hate it when this happens. It's because it doesn't, it didn't have a pump or anything. So it's really hard to distribute a smaller amount. So right away I have like way too much on my face right now. Crap. Anyways, I'm going to have to go in and use the beauty blender and try to absorb some of this because there's way too much here. So I'm just going in and applying the foundation with the Beauty Blender and I chose a light ivory shade. I'm quite fair so it's working for me. And yeah, I quite like how it's sitting on my skin. It blends really nicely. This is my first time using L'Oreal foundation but I really like it so far. Dita's eyeshadow was quite simple, so I'm going to go in with the 1960s palette and just use the matte white on the base of both eyes. Because I notice all her shades are usually matte. Kind of 1940s, 1950s style, so I'm not going to be too dramatic like certain 1960s look. I'm, I'm going to keep it quite simple. 
And I'm gonna go in with the nude brown shade on my lid, the 1960s palette, and just sweep that across my eyelid to get some nice contouring. So that is those two colors. And then I'm gonna go in with the 1950s palette. I wanna add a bit more contouring. So I'm gonna go take the darker Sophia shade and add a little bit more to the crease. I just want to do a little bit of a darker brown in my creases just to kind of make the whole look pop a little more. So I'm just taking a little bit of dark brown. I'm kind of using the white to do the top of my eyes. Just kind of blend everything in. I'm going to go in with her favorite eyeliner, and this is the Rimmel London Scandal Eye. I'm going to do a dramatic cat eye with that one. So now I finish the flick. It's pretty easy with this nice fine point tip. So this is one of her favorite drugstore eyeliners. I just need to go in again and add a bit more concealer and foundation to kind of brighten up the look and yes, and then add some mascara too. Now I'm gonna try her favorite mascara and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm not gonna put on false eyelashes this time because I want to see what this mascara looks like on. I've also never tried this mascara. It does look like it's adding a lot of volume. But I do notice that it's making my eyelashes very voluminous as you can see compared to that side. So right away this mascara is really good. I'm really impressed by it. My eyelashes look like they have a lot of volume and a lot longer too. They almost look like the false ones that I wear. So I'm quite impressed. I really like the foundation too. And the eyeshadow is working out quite well with the dark. And she loves the Cody Airspun powder. She says she uses it on her body. It smells really good. It has that kind of vintage like I don't know it just smells like old Hollywood or something super retro she likes to put it on her chest and her neck area this is one of my go-to face powders it just works really well um, and it's so affordable too and this one is from 1935 so I'm just gonna do some powdering on my face nose area and it's true, this smells really good. I love the smell. I always forget how much I like the smell of it. It just smells like you're just applying something really vintage. So I'm just going in and doing a nice light powder. And now I'm going to go in and finish the look with the drugstore lipstick that she loves and this is Maybelline Red Revival and she likes the Lucite looking container too. It kind of has that retro look with the red and this is a really nice classic old Hollywood red. And as you can see it's a really nice red, very old Hollywood and classic. So this is kind of my Dita Von Tees inspired makeup look. And another few lipsticks that are really good if you want that old Hollywood red are Vintage Doll Cosmetics Marilyn and Elizabeth. The Elizabeth is more of a cooler blue hue and the Marilyn has more of an orange undertone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below. I'm actually really impressed with her drugstore beauty favorites. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.